रामनाथ जी से हाय यस ऊपर भेजो ना भूख लग रहा है भंगरी It is so juicy on the inside. I really wasn't expecting that. What is your favorite dish? I like all. You like all. Of course he likes everything <laughs> he says. <laughs> I like all. Hi guys, this is DCD and as you can see I'm right outside Kebab Corner. I've been craving kebabs and rolls for the last couple of days so I asked around and a couple of my cousins told me that you should come here and try it out because it's this place has been there for over 35 years now. So I thought hell yeah I'm going to get here as soon as possible. It's 10:30 in the morning they haven't even opened but I'm outside here waiting to try their kebabs. But 10:30 was way too early and they hadn't even opened their kitchens. But I was lucky enough to get hold of Ramnath, who's been working there for quite a while, and he told me about some things which I found pretty interesting. But the year for how much time has it been for you? Ah, twenty-five years. Twenty-five years has it been? Yes, sir. So, where did you start from? Here, working. Now, you're a manager. Manager, but I started in the office. I like to work in the restaurant and food. Okay. Okay. So, first, you worked in the office. I like to work in the restaurant and food. Okay. Okay. So, first, you worked in the office. I like to work in the restaurant and food. Okay. Okay. So, first, you worked in the office. I like to work in the restaurant and food. Okay. Okay. So, first, you worked in the office. I like to work in the Yes, yeah. I don't do sweet and do a white collar job. Got it, got it. Fantastic. So this is like a passion for you. Yes, yes, yes. That is the reason I came here. I used to work in the evening also, uh -huh. working in the office in the daytime. I used to come okay. and work in the evening. Okay. So I started. Slowly, my boss took me here fully. Understood. Understood. Then who is your boss? Uh, Mr. Suresh Lulla. He is no more. Suresh Lulla is no yeah, more. Yeah. Okay. His wife is taking care now. Okay. But she also likes. Need to take care of this awesome. place. Okay. So, so what are you? What are you famous for? What are you well known? See, for? Yeah, well known item means rolls, which you don't have to use the tissues, bring a ball, take a roll, eat and go. No wet roll, no mayonnaise in that. Nothing. Okay. So what are what are your rolls normally? Let's say like a tikka pieces will be there. Chicken tikka roll. Chicken tikka piece. Chicken tikka pieces okay. with some masala, onion, everything will be there. Got it. So I mean, Romali, Frankie will uh, wrap and give. Romali. This, yes. this is called a Frankie. Frankie. Yes. Fantastic. What is your favorite dish? I like all. You like all. Of course, he likes everything. <laughs> he says. <laughs> I like all. But what's your like favorite? Most favorite dish? I like uh, Indian uh, kebab. Kebab. Chinese. Chinese okay. sauce. I like. Chinese we have good Chinese. So here. what all cuisines do you do here? Well, we have multi cuisine. Multi cuisine. Multi -cuisine. Yes. So your. We don't only continental. Only other than that, Indian, Chinese, tandoor, uh, kebabs, rolls, biryani, everything is there. Okay, biryani, also. fried rice, noodle, everything is there. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And how many staff? I mean. Do Be able to run yeah, yeah, thirty-five th people now, right now. Thirty-five people. Yes. This is for the kitchen and the Absolute restaurant. Absolutely, cutting upstairs, section right? and all is there. Everything, including okay. restaurant, is there. We are thirty-five people. Awesome, awesome. Have you encountered a funny incident, something which is stood out for you? Mm, a memory like, which is stood no, out? Nothing like that. Is it? This is a place where you take a food. Nobody is going to wait. My garbage is only dust. Serious, uh, man, guys. Not a food and all in that. Yeah, yeah. Leftover food won't be there. Exactly. Everything just lick the left finger and the. Oh shit! Finish. I'm gonna be licking my finger. He says. Yes, sir. Sure. Definitely. Awesome. awesome. They will. I'm telling you know. I'm not uh, appreciating myself, but food is very good. Absolutely. Super. Food What do you recommend I eat? You should try our rolls for the for sure. I want to try your rolls and, yeah. and you should like our kebabs, malai kebabs. kebab, reshmi kebab, chicken tikka. Everything is good. Okay. Okay. Can I sit upstairs and try them? Yeah, you can sit upstairs and try, and okay. you can take a. You also. This is a small place, but it's a very nice place there. Sure. Everything is there. Sure. Yeah. You awesome. can go and see there. Then I said bye to Ramnath and headed upstairs. The corridors were narrow but had a vintage feel to it, which I quite liked. I entered the restaurant, which is nothing lavish but is real cute and cozy. Anyway, I placed my order and the food arrived in no time. Okay, some onion and some nimbu, chicken egg rumali. Thank you, thank you guys. First thoughts. Um, I think the Onion has a vinegar drizzle on it, so that's the first thing that I can smell. To my first bite. Mm. Oh yeah, the fluffiness of the egg is on point. The the 
the chicken is has been cooked almost perfectly the onions are a little bit of crunch day editor what's wrong with the audio why you asking me you should have recorded properly hey fix it no anyway so the bite with the chutney and the onion right like the chutney was nice and sweet and sour it was also a little cold and the roll being warm there were like so many things happening in my mouth i don't even know how to express it anymore because i'm not eating it anymore moving on i don't know what i'm saying i think oh yeah 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 what i'm about to say is that there's some coriander see there's some coriander which is quite refreshing in your mouth yes now let's go back to good audio chili paneer thank you you can see the chunks of paneer in that right gravy oh yes yo let's go for it the chili sauce is not very chili paneerish or like a typical indian sauce that you would get on say but it's but in its entirety this roll is pretty good especially with that paneer being so soft i don't think we got back to good audio but the rumali was super soft it was so thin and almost fragile to be honest then i added some of the onion and the mint chutney into a chili paneer roll and i was actually kind of surprised mm. oh wow <laughs> it actually makes it better okay enough of the rolls now let me show you something they have this lift to send the food upstairs to the restaurant which i found pretty cool and you should totally hit the like button because i showed you that then they brought the reshmi tikka to my table and oh man it tasted good my first bite of the reshmi tikka wow oh yeah it is so juicy on the inside i really wasn't expecting that as soon as i bit into it there's this oozing of juice just happened in my mouth it was so good it's actually cooked really well It's not too. It's not spicy at all. Of course, it's got malai on it. Oh, this is so good! I have to try it with some of the onion and the chutney. Mm. The crunch from that onion with the soft chicken, and that nice tanginess from the chutney. Burst of flavors in my mouth right now. Oh yeah. Nothing like a good hot kebab fresh from the tandoor. I was definitely in my happy place after that kebab. But I had one more dish that I had to try. The curry patta mushroom. But my editor is allergic to mushrooms so he just summarized a few points and asked me to share them with you. I mean this has nothing to do with bad audio or anything like that, okay? I'm making it very clear. So here goes. It smelled absolutely great. I love curry patta so it smelled really good. the mushrooms were super juicy i found it maybe a little salty for my liking but overall this was a fantastic dish i had a few people try it at home when i came back and they loved it as well so yeah the curry patta mushroom is a definite win and to celebrate this win here's a little dance for you a 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 let's pause for a second to acknowledge that i just did that Okay, we can continue now. My dancing skills scared away a few customers, so I thought I should just pay the bill, say bye, and head out as soon as possible. And if you can't make it to the restaurant, you can always order from Zomato and Swiggy. You have already seen from my reaction that I really like the food at this place. Beat the rolls, beat the kebab, beat the mushroom. I had a great time eating over here. Thanks to Ramnath and his team for welcoming me for letting me have this experience. I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button if you did. Comment all your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to DCD Eats and lastly, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.